I'm going to show you how to make a base just like this one. So what we'll do is we'll start off, we'll cut up some of these bits of Sculpey. Um, we'll just try and roughly break them, make a kind of rock-like texture, carve away at them with the, with the hobby knife, uh, the scalpel, and uh, yeah, please be careful with it. Don't want to injure yourself. Um, just try and be as random as possible when you're working with basing. Uh, you don't want too much uniformity. So what we're going to do is we're going to work with a variety of materials. We'll work with most of the materials that we've mentioned. Um, I end up not actually using uh, any plastic bits apart from the skulls on the base, uh, but you obviously absolutely can do. In fact, it's a good idea to do the same as I'm doing to the rocks with the plastic bits and just carve away chips and cracks and things. So we're going to use two different kinds of Sculpey. We're going to use some of the modeling board, which we've popped on there already. Um, be messy with this. Just go nuts. Uh, if stuff falls onto the base, just observe how it falls. And if it falls nicely, glue it in place. So we've got some plastic card rod. Uh, any kind of rod here will work. Um, any kind of tubing as long as it's something that can that can either paint will stick to or that you can sand and then paints will stick to it then by all means use it basing is one of those things you can you can do whatever you want so we've popped these plastic card rods down i just want sort of a broken pipe like look to it and we'll just start gluing them down um, as as they are you just want to run some of the glue underneath just to hold them basically um, in place just very roughly before you go in with a bit more with a bit more glue and you just start cutting things tidying things up well it's really the opposite of tidying things up so make things rougher and more broken and dented and the trick to a good base is you want to make it feel like it's part of a wider world so where I've got the pipes that are coming off the edge of the base, what we'll do is we'll cut those in line with the edge of the base. So it looks like they're extending off into a wider world. We're using the cork here just to simulate a kind of uh, reinforced concrete. So you just drill a hole, pop a paper clip in there. And you want to use two pairs of pliers and just bend the end parts like so. You want at least a few, at least three pieces in there, pieces of paper clip. That'll make it look uh, quite nice. Again, we're trying to, we don't want things sticking outside of the base or over the side of the base. So we'll try and position that so everything's sort of pointing inwards a little bit. Uh, I think that's more personal preference than anything. I don't like things hanging over bases, but obviously you can. So with that all glued down, we'll stick a few more pieces of cork on there. This is the shiny side up, so note that. Uh, and when it's primed, uh, you'll be able to see that it looks very much like concrete. It's, it's, it's quite a good, quite a good effect. Um, here. Use your scraps, any bits that you've carved off, just drop them on. Just adds a bit of variety because you're going to put sand on there as well. And this just adds just more texture, more layers, more variety, which is always a good thing. There we go. So right, we'll trim down anything that's sticking out over the edge. So be very, very careful here. Uh, plastic card and cork are, are very easy to trim though, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem at all. You want to follow the angle of the base. The, the look I always aim for for my bases is to make it look, once it's primed, as if it's a either 3D printed or cast resin base. There we go. Uh, all these spare bits as well pop them into your sand container and mix them up. So we'll just pop some glue on there 
This is the usual Mod Podge. Go section by section because if you do the whole thing, you won't have time to tidy it up before it starts to set a little bit more than is ideal. So do a little bit, scrape it off any areas where you don't want the sand because it can look weird if you uh, leave the sand where the, where the glue wants it Search because it'll stay on top of these pipes and things like that it'll stick to weird parts of the rock where sand normally wouldn't settle so it just gives you a little bit more realism just by doing some adjustments and then what you can do is you don't want any gaps or voids underneath rocks so we just want to mix up some sand and some Mod Podge and just to make a sort of filler paste and we'll push that into any of the uh, any of the larger gaps there's a gap underneath one of the rocks there it's not too bad vision for the model sitting on top of it it's going to be standing sort of either side of the main uh, those raised rocks in the middle or you could have a character leaping off the rocks it depends what the model is that you've got and how you will want to approach your, your basing theme main point is is lots of variety and then you tie everything together with the painting which we'll do in another video because it uh, will go into a bit more depth um, the normal so we'll add some skulls these are the plastic GW skulls and now this is a rarity this is old Games Workshop barbed wire uh, it's probably not the most realistic of barbed wire it's just wire wrapped around more wire uh, but I quite like it so for the skulls a bit of blue tack on the end of a knife allows you to pick them up and pop a bit of glue on and place those skulls wherever you want nice and easily Excuse the glasses creeping into shot there. So we'll get we'll get about three or four of those skulls on. I think I end up doing about three of them. But if you are more corn inclined, then obviously more skulls are better. So we want a little bit of this barbed wire. Uh, ended up being too much and too large. To, uh, to start with so we cut it down and then sort of twist it down so it looks a little bit smaller you don't want it overpowering you don't want huge pieces of barbed wire overpowering the base and obviously you've got to think about a transport as well if this is, is going to be a gaming piece for any reason uh, you don't want it to be a thing that might get damaged in transport or moving around the battlefield not that I game very much with mine, or, or if at all. I replaced it on the corner there, set the corner on the edge, and decided that round through the middle is probably a little bit easier. So pop it into place, and then the good thing with the uh, barbed wire is you can just run a bit of super glue whilst it's in place on any points of contact and that will hold it whilst you've got the glue out and as long as everything else is dry um, obviously this video has lots of editing in it once it's dry just dab on some super glue just to seal that sand in place and there we go one finished battlefield base hopefully that's been of use to people um, thank you ever so much for watching and again all the support and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.